your excitement level being oh sorry uh, outdoor season being at home yeah i'm super excited obviously we have like the best facility in the country so it's always great to have home meets and uh, have all the other schools coming over to find us <laughs> um, i asked elliot so i need to ask you how does it feel to be on the poster this year oh yeah super excited <laughs> i was just saying how i hadn't made it before so yeah very excited i uh sent it to my mom and she already asked for like multiple copies <laughs> So wait, are you going to grab the stack? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I grabbed a little stack already. <laughs> Elliot says he feels old. Do you feel a bit older now? Or is it? Yeah, I'm getting there. I think we're in the same class. So, yeah, it's weird to see that it's coming to an end soon. Taylor, is this multi-group as, as strong as it's been in your time here? Yeah, for sure. It's the biggest and strongest that we've had. We have nine multis, including the heptathletes and decathletes. So it's really fun having such a strong training group to all be building each other up and helping each other. Do you feel like that's helped you? Oh, for sure, yeah. And just having that motivation every day to know your teammates are pushing you and pushing themselves, it's great. Was there one aspect or maybe one event this year that you were really trying to focus on? Or what was your approach, I guess, just coming into this season? Yeah, coming into the season, uh, the multi-group in general is just working on speed, uh, speed and strength. And that will just translate over to our events as the season goes on. And you're four years here have you or I guess your previous three now four have yeah. you exceeded expectations for yourself that you had coming out of South definitely yeah this year I'm looking at going to the Olympic trials so that wasn't something on my radar coming in coming in as it being also an Olympic year that seems so out of reach and then for it to be a reality this year is really cool when did that change um, it's just been a slow progression and along with my teammates we're all just slowly increasing each event and then when you see it all come together that's when you realize uh, how much better you're getting. Was it at all a confidence issue with you or did you always kind of assume that if you could put in the work, put in the time that, that this might get you to this level? Yeah I don't think it was a confidence issue just uh, not being skilled enough and now finally having developed those tools. So. You know, two back to back fourth place finishes team wise at the NCAA championships outdoor mm -hmm. and indoor. Is things coming along for this team? Obviously, the distance side is getting stronger. We've seen the sprints and jumps flourish over these last couple of years. Yeah, I think even getting those fourth place finishes and not having done as good as we all know we could have it from every events, from every event standpoint, and still getting those top finishes is uh, really shows how how far we could go. So, where's everybody taking kind of from Boston that were competing in Boston that last weekend? Sorry, what was the question? What were people taking away from Boston? Like, not even like I, I know you didn't compete in Boston, but like. Is the whole group, what's their biggest takeaway from competing in Boston and NCAAs? Yeah, I think there was a lot of little disappointments, but those just push us as we're going into now the outdoor season where there's definitely a little bit more hype around it being just the main track season and also knowing how well we can do if, uh, you know, we're doing our best and putting things together. What's your, your relationship like with Gianna? I, I know I saw you guys, you guys are obviously training partners, but I see you guys on social media always, you know, yeah. You seem like BFF. What's that relationship like? <laughs> yeah, Gianna, me, Colleen, Annika, we've all gotten very close. Um, Annika just came in this year, but previously all three of us being very close and now bringing in a new training partner is great. We hang out outside of practice and some of us have classes together, everything. So it's great to have that relationship for some days when, the tra when you're not feeling good in training and we can just like understand and help each other. So how do the individual events this week look for you? Obviously, it's, it's preparation for the heptathlon this spring, mm -hmm. but just kind of talk about what, what we're looking forward to this weekend. Yeah, this weekend we're pretty much just putting in a training weekend, lots of running events. We're all doing hurdles, the 200, the 4x4, the javelin. So it's pretty much just getting ready for outdoor, not too much pressure, just making sure we're still getting good training and leading up to the heptathlon in and a will, few weeks. When will your first heptathlon be? Uh, it'll be at Mount Sac. Some of us at Brian Clay and some at Mount Sac, just depending on how it lines up. You excited to compete in the rain this weekend? Oh, definitely. <laughs> takes me back to high school when we didn't have the underground cover to be training in, just always in the rain, so I don't mind it. <laughs> I, guess the biggest, I guess the biggest thing that's not even track related, it's going to be disc golf season. <laughs> we excited about that, getting back with some nice weather? <laughs> yes, very excited. <laughs> I just got... Uh, sponsorship with Discraft so I'm excited for this season as well. And what does that like what does that entail? I know obviously you're a collegiate athlete in track but what does that this golf kind of um, look like? Yeah I mean I'm just having fun with it for now but post track I'd like to be getting onto the tour event so. 
yeah, I'm surprised you uh, knew that. <laughs> social media. <laughs> I, I know, I guess every, not that hidden, but I was like, it's yeah. 15,000 followers on social media, so it's quite a bit. All right. <laughs> So do, will we see you out there this after the trials? Will we see you out there this summer at Alton Baker Park? Will yeah, for sure. Okay. I'm signed up for a tour event in uh, September. So focusing on track now and once that's over, then getting ready for some bigger disc golf events. Cool.